Stomach's upset, and I'm generally disagreeable, darling. Why? Uh, why are you disagreeable? Because I'm depressed. Tell us, why are you depressed? Oh, maybe, ma maybe if you get your feelings out in the open. I know, dear, depressed. but I'd rather not do it in public. We're all depressed when we can't do the things we used to do. What kind of things did you used to do to enjoy yourself? Well, I used to walk miles. I swam. I worked. What did you do with food? All kinds of work. Well, why didn't you name some? Well, I raised a family. I buried a husband. And I, I was a nurse, and I was a... Tell us about nursing. Oh, no, I didn't like how that. How long were you a nurse? What do you mean? I graduated I mean, from how training. Long, how long did you work as... Well, I got... Oh, a year after I got... And then I got married. And then I didn't work except in the home, you see, raising one's little ones. Now they're big ones. And uh, then after my husband died, I had many jobs. I was, I went back to college. I was a health educator for prevention of blindness. I taught volunteers how to screen the school children's eyes all over the city of Baltimore. I worked for the American National Red Cross, teaching girl, delinquent girls how to make beds, etc and uh, take care of the sick, you see, darling, uh, generally. And then I uh, took care of my aging mother and her business. Uh, she had some people to help her physically while I worked on the side. Oh. And now that's about it. I've had enough of me. I'm bored with me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so why don't you tell us about your family life? Do you, has there any family secrets of the past? No. Any feuds that people don't know about? Not that I think it'd be interesting to anybody. The usual families. Uh, a squabble? Not particularly. My husband was a very kind man. He didn't fight much. Uh, he didn't like to fight. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one sister who's now dead. She's older, and I, I'm the youngest in the family, and I have an older brother who's in his late 80s who's who's uh, still living in Paris. What's his name? Paris. Where does he live? In North Carolina. How come I've never met him? What? How come I've never met him? I don't know, Alex, but he never came up here. I see. He's lived in North Carolina a long time. His wife is not very well. He has to take care of her. <coughs> well, where have you lived? How many places have you lived? Oh, mercy, that would take all day. Well, why don't we start from the beginning? Well, I was born in Carroll County in Maryland, outside of Baltimore. And then I, I was raised in, in Baltimore, in the minister's house, which is my father's church, house next to the church. And then I married uh, while well, I was in training, when I was, let's see, I went to school, to college, and then in nurses' training. And I graduated there in 1926, and I got married in 1928. I worked in the American Hospital in Paris for a while, too, when I graduated. That was fun. Mm. Yes. What about Wyoming? Well, Baltimore? that was that was after my husband died. I took the boys to Wyoming. What was, what offered, what, what, what drove you to Wyoming? Well, I'd been out there once, and I liked it. And I didn't want, I wanted to get the children out of the city. I didn't have much money, and I went out there and worked as ranch nurse and postmistress. And we learned to ride horseback all over the place and so forth. What about Baltimore? What drove you to Baltimore? What drove me? I was or, born there. Oh, you were born there. I'm just outside of Baltimore. My God. Yeah, I lived there. For, uh, well, my father lived in that same my mother for 50 years till they, he died. And I've lived in Paris. I've lived in New Orleans. I've uh, traveled a great deal to Europe when I on my vacation time, I went as a child, a young girl with my mother. Now that's enough of me, I'm bored with me. How did you meet your husband? 
I came to Long Lake in 19, in the 20s, 1920s. For family vacation? Yes, well, just mother and my, I think my mother and I came up there to end beyond. And then we had a cottage and so forth. And the Verners were there, and I met Harry. One, and then a couple of years later, I came back and met him again, and then we got married. Very Not really. I well, I was uh, I, I was torn between two men, three men. I remember being proposed to on the station at Raybrook by a doctor who was working up at the uh, Raybrook Hospital. What? Six, six o'clock in the morning. I, well, I don't know. I turned him down. I uh, probably should. He's dead now. Anyhow, yeah, don't worry about. It. Well, what made you choose Harry over? I don't know. He was he kept pursuing me, and so I finally gave in. He said he couldn't live without me, but I think he could, he, and he couldn't because he, he died before I did. Yes, that could be a problem. I know. Well, so be very careful. Be sure you pick a man that, uh, if you're going to pick, you better pick somebody who is established, like a doctor, a lawyer. What, uh, what advice do you give to the people going out into the world today? Make sure you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Name some mistakes you made. Can't. There's so many that. Well, just name a few. A few. No, you've got to be. You've got to to segregate romance with uh, or from reality where you need. You know, marriage has got to be something. It doesn't mean to marry a rich man, but uh, it isn't. You can't see the future, so you just have to go wherever your heart is or whatnot, but be careful that man must be, you know, more or less established, and Harry really wasn't. Well, it was wonderful having this conversation and learning about our heritage in the... Not heritage. very much through me, because you you only had one side of the, of the uh, equation. Yes, but maybe we could talk again. All right, dear, and what is your name? My name is Helen... Ricardo. <laughs> well, go buzz off. <laughs> oh, you're cute.